Peace, family. Greetings to you. Um, so I wanted to answer this question. I get tons of questions. Keep sending me your questions because what I'll do is do a video, a lecture, a webinar, an Instagram post, or something like that. I may not answer you directly, but I will put the content in one of the platforms uh, so everybody can benefit from it. Now, this question that was posed to me was, Queen, why is it, you know, after uh, 16 days of water fasting, I'm still experiencing detox symptoms of stomach pain? The reason why you may still be experiencing symptoms of um, any kind of detox symptoms, but stomach pain in particular, is uh, the way that you enter into the fast. And I did have a conversation with this young lady, and she did come back and said that, you know, her, her nutrition was horrible um, and her sugar intake was off the charts. But at any rate, the way that you want to enter into an extended fast is you want to... Enter the fast very easy so that you can have a nice and smooth fast and you're not having pains and aches and all of this kind of stuff by having animal products sitting in your body okay if you are a carnivore you eat meat you don't want to just say up oh, tomorrow I'm gonna go on a 30-day fast that's not what you want to do what you want to do is you want to give yourself about a two-week lead time where you're eating nothing but fruits and vegetables, all right? And you want to, um, if you can, have only one meal a day, all right? Have only one meal a day of just fruits and vegetables. I would say if you want optimal, optimal, uh, like no detox symptoms at all, is if you do about a two to three week uh, smoothie regimen every day before you're extended water fast right so you can do green uh, juice uh, not juicing but green smoothies you can and I'll tell you why not juicing here in just a second but you can do green smoothies with vegetables you can do fruit smoothies you can do a mixture of fruit and um, vegetable smoothies you know and, and take you about one or two of those a day optimally if you can do one a day one big one a day about a 24 to 30 ounce uh, size you're gonna be golden you're going to be absolutely golden. You're going to have a fabulous fast. You're going to enjoy it, and you're going to want to do it again and keep doing it to keep yourself healthy. The reason why people stop fasting is because they go into it wrong. They come off of it wrong, and they just have a bad experience, and they say, ah, oh, this doesn't work. I'm never going to do it again. All right? So you have to be smart about things, and you have to be compassionate with your temple. All right? Be compassionate with your temple. Give your body the time that it needs to rejuvenate. Give your body the time that it needs to digest foods. Give your time uh, the body that it needs to create uh, new stem cells, etc., etc., etc. Okay? So now, why don't I recommend juicing? I do recommend juicing here and there if you just want to have some nice juice. But um, for an extended period of time, I don't recommend juicing. The reason why I don't is because what happens when you juice fruits or vegetables, you take out the uh, digestive enzyme. I'm trying to get these people off my camera. <laughs> you take out the digestive enzymes and you take out the fiber of the fruit or the vegetable. So now the body, the temple, your queen dome or your king dome has to compensate and find that fiber and find those digestive enzymes somewhere else. All right? So it's compensating. That's why I don't recommend long periods of just juicing only. Okay? That's me. That's my opinion. Right? You do what you will, but I'm just telling you the science behind it. So to answer this young sister's question, it is definitely the nutrition that you let into it uh, your fast with. So, again, be mindful of those things and uh, be smart about it. You ease into a fast, you ease out of a fast. Simple, simple, easy peasy. Good diet in, good detox, good fast. Bad diet equals bad detox. All right? 
So I hope that helps you. Please like and subscribe to uh, the video. Share it with someone that is health conscious, that wants to be healthy, that wants to live a vital and longevity life. Uh, for coaching and consultations, you can go to veganhealthqueen.com. Again, veganhealthqueen.com for coaching and consultation. For Instagram or Facebook, if you go to Real Vegan Health Queen, Real Vegan Health Queen is the Instagram handle and the Facebook handle. If you want to join my private health conscious group, which is absolutely free, if you want to join my private health conscious group, all you have to do is go to my website, veganhealthqueen.com, veganhealthqueen.com, look for the big Facebook banner, click on it, it'll take you to the group, answer the questions, and I will approve you or decline you from joining the group, depending on your answers, all right? Have a great day, family. Peace, blessings, love. Stay healthy. One love, one life. Jai Rastafari, always.